What's up everyone, it's your boy Richard Wong, aka RW, back with another video. And I know I said I was going to drop a free sample every week, every Friday, but unfortunately I did get sick and I still am sick a little bit, but I do feel good enough to make this video. So I got you guys right now, even though it's not Friday, but hey, I got some making up to do. So before we get started, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos. Let's get it. Alright, so here we are in the session. I'm first going to play the full sample. that's the sample as you can hear I was going for this vintage piano with some vocals on top of it some bass I tried to stick with real instruments no synthetic instruments mainly because I wanted it to be more of like a vintage soulful vibe and that's actually a huge tip in making samples like this think about the era you're going for or like the inspiration it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to do exactly what their other people are doing or what they did back then but if you want to have some sort of vibe like that try to use the instruments they use for example for like more soul stuff like that they usually use real instruments like pianos vocals even some horns some strings so that's what i really decided to stick with let's break it down first we start with this piano it's from piano v3 by arturia it's actually uh, my custom preset that i made myself just to get the piano exactly how i wanted it i'm actually thinking about dropping a piano analog lab bank but we'll see we'll see so start off with these chords And all I have on that is RC20, just to give it a little bit. It's from Vantage by Unknown. But then, same piano, I just added a top line melody. After that, uh, I followed it up with an electric piano from Analog Lab from Arturia. Um, it's just the exact same chords, except I have them rolled, just to you know give it a different vibe. And as you hear, I didn't put the chord change in there that I have for the piano. I just took that out and decided to pull it out and uh, drag it over just to have that same chord. So on this electric piano, all I have is an EQ. Just wanted to make some space for the piano by cutting it out, boosting it a little bit just to give some more texture. And yeah, low cut, high cut. Then I added these vocals, which are my vocals. I recorded them myself. Put some effects on them and it sounded like this. All right, so first I started with this right here. I just labeled it the choir because I did add some effects to it. This is actually my vocal. And then um, all I did was add Metatune, Slate Digital. Very light, not too crazy. Um, the FGMU, which is a Fairchild emulation. I really like how it sounds on vocals. And then slept on plugin Nectar 3. I have this Harmony. No one talks about this plugin when it comes to Harmony plugins, but I gave it four voices to give that choir feel. So before, it sounds like this. And with it, just to make it sound as more people. And I have that bust out into a Valhalla Vintage Verb right here. It's the default setting. Uh, I just increased the low cut. And then I sang this right here. Same effects, by the way, except this one looks like it has an EQ on it as well. Just to lower the highs because I did pitch it up 12 semitones. <laughs> Want to go for that, you know, chipmunk soul type sound, and that's why I pitched it up like that. Finally, I just wanted to add like you know a little phrase, and uh, it's this right here. This is the original. Feel so blue, baby. 
And then I also have another one, which I pitched up. It's so blue, baby. And I just layer them together to give it that sound. Same thing, Metatune, FGMU on both of these. And also going to the same vintage verb. Finally, I have this bass. This is uh, the Rickenbacker bass, and it sounds like this. want to give that nice bouncy feel. I uh, have an EQ on it it's just just to get rid of some of the highs and just a little bit of lows just because I just wanted the bass to be sitting more up here to give it more presence. Don't need that low low. And I have a guitar rig as well. I have it on the basic bass pro preset and then I just changed the input just to get that perfect amount of compression just because I didn't want it to get squashed. So on the master bus I have RC20 unknown vantage master chain one from the unknown vantage pack i did change it a little bit just to get that sound i was going for but honestly this preset right here fire i've been using it a lot then i have gold Foss, just to give it some separation and open it up a little bit you could also just do it with eq but i just liked how it sounded finally i have the slate fgx and just a little bit of compression i think i'm hitting like negative one yeah negative one and then I pull up the gain just to give it some more volume. And I'll show you what it sounds like with and without everything. So without the master chain. And now with the master chain, of course there's gonna be a volume difference, but try to listen to more of the nuances and the textures. Master Chain really glues everything together, gives it that vintage vibe or more of that vintage vibe than we had before. And of course, gives some competitive loudness. Um, if you are wondering why I have Pro L2 here, one of the best loudness meters. That's why I really like it. It just reacts so quickly. So honestly, if I'm not using it as a limiter, I'm using it as a meter. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. As always, follow my social media at Mr. RW. It's M R A R E D O U B L E Y O U on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment for more videos. I will have more of these coming. I will have another one coming on Friday. I am starting to feel better, so more uploads will be coming. Oh, and before we go, of course, link to download this in the description. If you use it, make a beat with it, post it on Instagram, tag me in it, in the caption, and uh, I'll be sharing my favorites. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you guys next time. Peace.